Hi Gemini and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'd like to start by saying thank you so much for all your support on my channel, for your likes, comments, subscribes and donations. It really means a lot and welcome if you're new. So this reading for February 2022 is going to focus on love for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general and won't resonate with all of you. I'm picking up on a bit of confusion in some of you. You might have choices in love. Some of you um, might be going through a separation at this time. Or you're really assessing where you're at. Some of you do have someone on your mind um, you're not in communication with this person, I feel. So let's have a look with the tarot. Gemini. So, I kept seeing judgment at the bottom of the deck, and it's still there. Um, so it does seem some of you do have a big decision to make. So maybe this is around a relationship. Thinking about breaking up with someone, as I was feeling. Some of you are trying to surrender as well. Um, surrender past hurts. Surrender to the universe, even this card. Notice she's just surrendering, ascending spiritually. We've also got two twos, which confirms a decision in love. For some of you, you could be at a crossroads at this time, but you're not sure which way to go. Spirit is saying to listen to your heart. That's, you know, that's the key, I think, really. Um, even here, notice the heart chakra, this light emanating as she's jumping up for joy. Um, so ask yourself that. Do you feel happy? Deep down. You might want to meditate, take some time out from other energies around you to find answers. I feel that some of you are walking away from a commitment or this is what you want to do. You've been through many lessons and cycles with the person you're with. You've been patient, but some of you feel it's time to move on. Now, some of you, um, it's interesting with that two of swords, two different paths, and we've got two knights. So some of you might have two options in love, one very grounded and one who is more flighty than might have already been in your life before. Could be a twin flame, I'm seeing 11-11 here. So this is where you need to ground yourself, be strong at this time, I'm really feeling. 
For some of you, this could be the resolution of a conflict with someone on the way. A lot of fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm going to clarify this two of cups. So it seems a lot of you want to start a new chapter with the world. You've been through lessons, as I was saying, karmic lessons coming to an end. You've now realised your worth with the Empress. You're loving yourself in terms of making this decision. So this, I really feel for some of you, this is just about going it alone in your situation. Now, this can be work for some of you, deciding to work for yourself, be independent. The Empress, Divine Feminine Energy there so I do get a soul connection to inflame potentially yeah some of you you're thinking about a breakup that's either happened or this is what you want some of you would like a second chance with this other energy we've got Libra Taurus there um, let's have a look at this Knight of Wands. Someone very passionate. Spirits agreeing. <laughs> with the Ace of Swords. Someone who wants to communicate with you. This is destined. Wow. We've got the Wheel of Fortune again, showing that second chance, it would seem, with this Knight of Wands, and a lot of Sagittarius energy there. So you may work at this with this person. You might also work with this person um, in mission in the future. Some of you might meet this person through work, so some of you haven't met them, and this is destined with these two cards, this really shows destiny. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Commitment, I'm seeing commitment here. Yeah, same sort of messages because we've got another two. So we've now got two, two, two on the board. Um, I'm really feeling another energy. So as I said, two energies. Um, it seems there will be, for some of you, an ending. If you're in a relationship or if there's a choice of two here. Um... Two of Wands shows a new partnership, a lot of passion. With the Ace of Wands, new beginning. I feel a distance here between you and this person. And yeah, for some of you, this is someone you had an ending with. So take what resonates there. Okay, I'm going to take some Merrimance Angels as well. So you've known each other before. A few things there. Um, as I said, for some of you you have met in this lifetime and for some of you it's a past life 
relationship. So it will feel very familiar. Yeah, a lot of passion. That's what I said before. Wow. Um, so allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Stay optimistic in order to bring this connection in. Um, it does seem this is true love. And your love life is going to ascend to a higher level of commitment. If that's what you want. Um, I just feel patience is needed here for some of you. Um, you might have felt a bit down. I'm really getting that in your energy actually, a bit of a down energy in some of you. Um, unsure what to do. So really listen to that voice within. Um, also the solar plexus being indicated here, so um, some of you need that extra boost of motivation to make this decision. I'm going to take some whispers of love as well. The Gemini. Wow, have patience, as I was saying before. Be kind to yourself. Some of you have some inner child work that you need to do, facing your shadow. So shift your focus back to love, is the message here. Stay in that positive vibration, highest vibration of all, and then you attract the right energy to you. And if you're meant to learn lessons still, then it will be a soulmate. Some of you are being guided to demonstrate love. So some of you are thinking about reaching out to someone here for support. It doesn't have to be this person. Um, but I'm also feeling when this person reach, reaches out, this person struggles to communicate. I keep feeling that. I'm struggling to talk here. Um, so they, yeah, they might struggle and you're being guided to be in that loving energy with them. Because I am seeing you and this person could build a home together, mission, you know, work together, potentially. You know, there's a blessed path ahead, the rainbow. So I'm going to take some advice as well. For Gemini. Unfinished Symphony, yeah. So some of you know this connection isn't over. Number 10 here for an ending, new beginning. Some of you receive messages through music. Some of you feel quite lonely right now in your situation. Even if you're with someone, I'm getting some of you, you're with someone and you feel lonely. Spirit's asking you to really look deep within at that. Because loneliness comes from within, ultimately. Um, but have you just settled? Spirit wants you to ask yourself there. Also, this is about letting people go and then feeling quite lonely on your path. But I feel some of you need to do this. And imagine, so that law of attraction, positivity coming through here, 
visualizing what you want and then it comes into fruition um, number two again for partnerships so act as though the person's here be in that vibration of love that keeps coming through here keep your vibration high I think um, is the message here Okay, so I'm going to take some letters. So we've got C, V, I, U, O, another, another I, J, R, U L A S K B Y and O. It's interesting, I'm just seeing there immediately boy. So someone who's a bit immature here, um, as I was feeling in terms of communication. They might struggle in that area. There could be an age gap here. They could be younger than you. We've got Roy as well. Joy. So this is the energy spirit wants you to be in, you know, jumping for joy. It's interesting that's come out again. Okay, interesting. I'm seeing busk. Um, and we had that music come through. So this person could be a magician. I <laughs> mean, musician, sorry. I don't know where that came from. Okay, so they wanted me to say that. Magician. So maybe they're an entertainer. Yeah, some sort of entertainment, public speaking or performing. Um, magician or musician. And you might hear their music, you know. Um, spiritually, I mean. Or get messages through music, as I said. We've got Ray, say, yeah, things they want to say, but they might, might struggle. Okay, Gemini, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending lots of love, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>